crucial detail has to do with his guard. When I give pressure in the form of my attack, he tries to receive it in tonsil, but because of my pressure, he doesn't want to fight that force. Many systems train you to hold your ground and to keep your hand in tonsil. There's, there's no point in doing so. The attacker's pressure is a gift. Take it as such and try to divert it. From here, fashion. this is the first phase of what's called gate testing, and it contains a sucker punch attack so that you learn not to get hit by it. So to reverse and go back to where we started. If I begin the movement and I press down and I, I chase the hand and go down completely, Cody rolls up and socks me in the face. Just like that. You can do the straight punch, you can do the hook punch, you can slap, whatever, but it, once I press down, I must stick to this arm. So as he presses my hand down, I learn to stick to his arm. I press his down, he sticks to mine. And we go back and forth. Some systems will do this. They will clasp the lower forearm in this fashion, which is fine too. So that as I press down on his arm, he circles out and clasps mine. So that everyone is able to neutralize the incoming forward pressure of the, your, their partner in the, um, in the early stages so that you can actually neutralize the force of a real attack. And here, up and hitting with the palm. Now one thing that is hidden here that is not often covered is a nerve attack to the neck which I'll do very gently, but you take the, the earlobe of your training partner from here and draw a line straight down into their collarbone and your index fingers, which is sometimes called a hookworm finger, you hook down into that point and bite down to cause the opponent to buckle. So at any time you don't wish to, to execute the strike and you just simply want to indicate the nerve attack, you do it in this fashion, turning your palms up, slapping and then finding their collarbone. Again, you should be able to place your fingertips on it immediately and then bite into that point that lies directly under the earlobe from here. Um, both the mainland of China and within uh, Hong Kong, there is a type of qi sao progression based on kun sao that is called the kun sao qi sao flow or a loi moon gate progression. And it looks like this in that, uh, go ahead and give me that. <clears throat> And it specifically also helps to train the application of what's called Lysau, which is found in most individuals' uh, BUG form. And it flows like this.